could also just make things a hell of a lot more awkward for the person that said Hydra sitting next to you. <laughs> Feel free to give them stink eye. Well, my name is Aaron Sagers. I'm excited to be doing this thing. I've been excited to be in this room with you guys. And I want you guys to tweet, to Vine, to Facebook, post this stuff out there, make your friends at home jealous that they are not here at Dragon Con on Friday night. Trust me, they will be jealous. Yeah. Spread the word and let them know, hey, this is what you missed. You gotta come out to Dragon Con. All right. Now, uh, a couple things. This is, I think we've got a microphone over here, a microphone over there. This is going to be your time to ask some questions. Please keep it a one question per person. We've got a lot of people in the room. Uh, be nice. Be polite. Make it short and concise. And, um, and no special requests. Like, you know, can I have a hug? Can I have your name play? Can I go home with you? Uh, can I hide in your closet? You know? So don't get too weird on me because it makes everything very awkward. Uh, all right. Without further ado, you guys know what to do. You're gonna hashtag Dragon Con. You're gonna hashtag Agents of Shield, and you're gonna hashtag the hell out of these people I'm bringing out here. You know him as Agent Trip. Of course, a guy that close to my heart died too soon. Please, Dragon Con, show your love for Mr. BJ. Yeah, you're, you're pretty dead. 
class coming back with a little tiny little sip. Siblet. Siblet. Yeah, a Sidbet. There you go. There you go. Marvel now owns that character, yes. by the way. The yeah. uh, I'll oh, be in jail tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> let's go. We got the microphones floating around, so let's go ahead and uh, get some uh, questions here. Hi. No a, there's nothing on this side. Come on, people. Get over and ask a question. Come on, you gotta come line up right here. A lot of questions. Line up in this aisle. Come and tell me what you guys say. How about this guy over here? All right. Well, let me ask this. Then. I mean, kind of keep me with uh, with with triplet. Like, is this the kind of show where nobody is safe? Because I really felt like with with your character, BJ, like they build him up to have this important backstory. You know, he's a lineage of, of the Hatling Commandos. Makes you think, okay, this guy is safe, and then of course you're not. So is this, I know. I'm really just trying to make him emotional on stage. I'm not gonna lie. But do you think that your death like served to say like, yeah, no one is safe. Like not only is nobody necessarily a good guy all the time, nobody is safe. Right. I mean, even coming in, I didn't even know that uh, you know people were gonna say good or people were gonna say bad. I thought you know when Garrett and I came on together, we would be. Winning. And then, uh, you know, a couple of, couple of scripts in, I'm like, whoa, wait, you're not my friend, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, it, it, it kind of gets, it kind of gets emotional. I mean, and I've never, I wasn't, I didn't grow up, you know, watching comics and all that other stuff. So, you know, now that I'm a part of the Marvel Universe, I was like, mom, why you introduce me to this? It's so crazy. And so it sucked me in. I was like a big kid in the candy store, like, and I didn't know how huge and how great the fans are. And like, you all are freaking amazing. Like, so, so it's like now I'm that person. So when he, you know, we get the script that he's dead, like Eric, we, we had a cry for this. Like, yeah. We all got sucked in. I mean, how long were you on? How long were you on? 17 episodes. I came halfway through season one and died halfway through season two. <laughs> They never, you never know what's gonna happen. Of course, right? like you don't, you don't know until you get to the, you know, table read, and then they, you know, you get the script. And like, oh wow, this is gonna go down. But um, Mo always said that if something happened detrimental to one of the main characters, she, you know, she said we'll let you know in advance. So I had just finished shooting um, this one scene, and they were like, BJ, hey, they want to see you up at the office. And I was like, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> about your character, maybe an arc or something like that. I was like, okay. <laughs> okay, I can see that happening. And so I go up to the office and then, um, you know, they're like, hey, BJ, you know, one of the sisters was like, hey, they're all back in the room. And I was like, oh, back here. We don't, everybody doesn't need to be here. For, you know, just let me know what's going on. And when I walked in, I saw like the whole producers. And I was like, how does he die? <laughs> BJ, I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I'm like, but you're going to go out a hero. Everybody's going to love you. And da, 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 da. I was like, I don't care. I don't even want to do that. And so, and so, as soon as, you know, saying, and, and as soon as I left the room, you know, they were like, BJ, nobody knows. We want to tell you first. He said before the script comes out next week, you know, so I want to give you a heads up. I was like, okay, cool. I was a trooper in the room. But driving home. <laughs> Clark calls me immediately, and then Chloe, and Brett, and Eric, me, and then, you know, and I'm not answering the phone because I can't drive and you know, cry at the same time. I can't talk on the phone. So Clark leaves me, and that's like, you better freaking pick up the phone, I'm gonna keep calling it to you. And so, and so when we finally went to the table read, it was just a cry fest. Like, you know, Chloe's like, I don't want to turn the page because I know you, and that's when you come to save me, and writers are to air out. It was just, you know, so I just want to say thanks for all the love for Trip, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see.
through and through good guy that there is these, I don't know, a, a little bit of a gray streak to him? Well, there really wasn't a gray streak. Everybody put a gray streak because I went up against Colson. And as soon as, you know, the hero's getting attacked, I gotta be the bad guy. I'm the only real shield in the damn movie. <laughs> Really, like, 
the, the show has really fully embraced the nerdiness, the nerddom, you know? As a Cree, I mean, that's a big deal. That's a big role to be playing. Yeah. How did they approach you and say, how'd you get kind of tied into the guest spot? Like, uh, as a Cree, going up against Inhuman, going up against Lady Sif, a lot of nerdy stuff going on there. Yeah, yeah, uh, it was, uh, we went full nerd on that one. Uh, uh, Drew Greenberg, who, uh, he started out on Buffy, and then, so he had worked with Joss before. Um, he was one of the co-EPs on Warehouse 13, and then he left to go write with Andrew Kreisberg on Arrow, yeah. and then left Arrow because he got an opportunity to work uh, on S.H.I.E.L.D. So he called me and was like, hey man, do you want to come uh, be on the show? And I mean, I've been a, a Marvel nerd since I was a little kid. I was a huge, incredible Hulk. I, I got this uh, Don Martin tattoo. I, I was trying to decide whether I should get the Hulk or uh, Don Martin, and my wife's like, well, if you get the Hulk, you look like a fanboy. And I'm like, uh, hello? <laughs> you know, do you not know who you married? Uh, so so, uh, so uh, I, I jumped at the opportunity. And it's interesting because um, the night before I was supposed to go to work, I had to show up at Raleigh Studios at like 5 in the morning. And uh, it was about 10 o'clock at night, and I was learning my Cree dialogue. And Andrew, or, uh, and Drew called me, and he was like, hey, man, what are you doing? I'm like, well, I'm, I'm working on my lines. He was like, okay, stop. <laughs> because Marvel looked at the storyline, and they want to tie this into their movie universe. So we had to change everything. So you're going to get all new lines. <laughs> um, and I go, well, when will they be coming? <laughs> and uh, so the next day, I showed up to work, and I had, uh, it, was, it was one scene, but it was stretched out through the entire show, but, and the director was like, okay, we're going to block shoot these six pages. Now, when you block shoot, that means they shoot everything in one direction, and then everything in the next, so I had to know six pages of dialogue, and it was all like, Take the dilithium crystal to the Farfanugan <laughs> and drop it into the barley flagon. <laughs> I can think of at least three things wrong yeah. with that comment. Well, right there. <laughs> so, I, so I was like, um, I don't know this. <laughs> and so I had Chloe and Ming Na and Clark and, and everybody. If you remember the, the scene, I'm standing there doing this, uh, this whole story about the, 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 the um, whatever, the Parfanugan. <laughs> <laughs> the diviners, the diviners. And they were stand, I mean, it was an actor's worst, I mean, I come to the set prepared generally, and it was, uh, it was like I was standing there naked on, on a block of ice. And I'm Irish, so you can, you can imagine the shrinkage. <laughs> Of it, Clark was standing there. He, he, he by the by the tenth take, he knew all my lines, and he was mouthing, <laughs> mouthing all my dialogue to me. I'm like, dude, I appreciate that you know all my lines. <laughs> uh, so uh, amazing to be invited uh, uh, in, into the universe, and yeah. um, so hopefully, you know, I don't know, I'm not dead. <laughs> <laughs> New Zealand loves Shield, so I'm from New Zealand and we just love it over there. Oh, that's good. I, I didn't know if you were actually from New Zealand or you were just carrying a message from New Zealand. No, 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 no. I am from New Zealand. I came all the way over here to see you guys in, in and I know it's, that was just against the rules, but my question is, if you could play a Marvel superhero, anyone, anywhere, um, who would it be and why? A Marvel superhero. Okay. If you could play a Marvel superhero, now another one, I guess. <laughs> Might it be? Well, I would be the Hulk because because I, I've kind of got the 
protruding post-orbital ridge. <laughs> I'm, I'm like two chromosomes from Australopithecus. <laughs> so, you know, I wouldn't have to say much. I could just, you know. Very, very little makeup and CGI right. necessary. Yeah. 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 Yes. <laughs> Thor.
the power of love. <laughs>
lot of people had speculation because um, there was only one black Howard. <laughs> And then I say, I'll go stand guard. <laughs> like, you do that, Skippy. You know? <laughs> so so I, got to, I got to put a little funny in it at the end. So it, yeah. it was cool. It was cool. I, uh, I, I had a question for BJ, but I just want to tell Mr. Almost real quick. It's not that I didn't love you in Agents of Shield, <laughs> but it's just that I love all your work as a whole. Oh. Brown noser, brown noser. <laughs> and, and, and I think a lot of people, a lot of people, folks over here will agree that when when you showed up on Agents of Shield, the second you showed up on the screen, everybody was like, "Oh, now it's now it's getting down to business." <laughs> and I think that's a big tribute to to, to your acting career. So, thank you. Uh, but, uh, but BJ, my question is for. Um, at what moment do you think that uh, 
uh, while, we, while working on S.H.I.E.L.D., what moment do you think it turned from a, oh, it's a paycheck, to a, this is the best job in the whole wide world? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Day one, brother. <laughs> Only because I, I didn't, um, like I said, I didn't grow up watching anything with comics. Like, I mean, my agent would always tell me, hey, B, let's go watch uh, like Thor or Captain America when it comes out. I was like, oh, cool. And, like, and so when I booked the role, he was like, hey, B, you booked Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I'm like, when you go, you don't even know what you're auditioning for. Like, your names aren't the same names. Agent War wasn't Agent War when I was reading with him, you know, during the first episode when I, I, I meet him and everything. And so I knew nothing about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Marvel, anything. And so, <clears throat> excuse me, he's like, BJ, I'm like, yo, what? He's like, yo, you booked Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And I was like, okay. <laughs> when do we work? When do we work? He's like, no, I don't, I don't think you understand you. You book Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And I was like, all right, dude, I'm happy we working. <laughs> He's like, you don't get it. So, you know, after I start doing my homework and they, you know, send me the script with the real names and the real dialogue and everything, and then I find out you have, like, this, this is in chronological order. You got to go back from this to this, to this, this, this. Then it ties in with the movies, and then it's like ties in with that. And I'm like, I love you, Lord. Thank you so much. <laughs> and so my agent teased me to this day. He's like, you didn't even like Marvel. And now all of a sudden, you go into the premiere, to the premieres, and you're like, yo, you going with me? You going with me? He's like, you didn't even want to go, but I want to take you to the movie. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, I, it, it was never just a paycheck. And like, like I just, I'd come back as a shoe sting for free. Like. Just, <laughs> And it's interesting because uh, there is no mention of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. anywhere on the script that you get. And no. even when you show up to the studio, you have to say, I'm here for some other show. It's, yeah. They don't have, you know, and then the, the stage doesn't have Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It has... I can't, ragtag. 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 That's right. Ragtag. I remember you put that on show. There, that's right. <laughs> I'm here for ragtag. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. So there's, you, everything is so top secret. That's why you know you never know what's going to happen. We don't even get to know anything. Yeah. I got to see the plane, the black plane, the super cool plane. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Tell us, I know. <laughs> Although it's a little less top secret now that you just put out ragtag. Yeah. <laughs> McClintock does one episode. <laughs> Close the whole thing. McClintock, banned from Marvel. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. did, they, did they digitize? You, you've been digitized, right? No further questions, Your Honor. Because <laughs> I, I had to stand in front of a 3D uh, yeah. digitizer, and, they, and I think, uh, you know, I've been chipped because I woke up. <laughs> <laughs> and I, and, uh, and I, I couldn't walk. <laughs> so I was like, what, ha what has happened here? And yeah. It was, I felt, you know, yucky, but at the same time, good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely, yeah. Definitely not myself today. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's good, though, because that also means that you're action figure ready. Yeah. Yeah. All right, where do we leave off? Over here. Hello? Uh, my question's for uh, VJ. If Trip had lived... <laughs> But he's dead though, right? No, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, maybe. I'm scared to talk now. <laughs> like, I just feel like there's a, a marble dot from Josh. Yeah. Right on my head, like, right now. Like, seriously. <sighs> yes, yeah. sir. I can well, help you. Anyway, if he, if, if he had lived and made it to the point where he had, where the real shield takeover happened, how would he have dealt with that situation, and how would he have gotten along with the real sealed agents that he had been forced to work with or be held prisoner of fire. And I guess this could also be to uh, Edward. Uh, how do you think a uh, general would uh, deal with Tripp uh, or get along with him as one of his subordinates? Or... I'm sorry, could you repeat the question? Yeah, there's a lot to unpack there. All right, Tripp, if Tripp lived, how would he deal with the whole real shield takeover and uh, the fact that some of the people he had been working with were traitors or from a certain point of view and how do you think he would have gotten, gotten along with or viewed Edward James Almost's character? Oh, uh, well, 
Once again, Tripp has a lot of love to give. <laughs> At the same time, you know, he, he's not only a medic, he's not only a fighter, he's not only a lover. <laughs> so, you know, in dealing with the new shield, I think that he would come in very prepared to do whatever needs to be done. Get the girl. <laughs> Shake my man's hand here. And then walk out and meet you at Asgard. I'll take it. I feel like that's the source of a lot of fan fiction stories now. They're all writing that right now. All right. I, I believe that uh, you know Agent Gonzalez uh, would have just made sure uh, to check his shoestrings. <laughs> It's all on the laces. <laughs> uh, and just FYI, Vintac's shoestring is blue. <laughs> We're still talking about shoestring. Hi there. Oh, we're all, sorry. While we're waiting for them to figure out how to bring you back as a genetically enhanced, super sexy shoestring, <laughs> what else do you guys have on your plate as far as future projects that we can look forward to seeing? I'm oh, sorry, what else do we have? have on your plate as far as projects that all of us can look forward to seeing you in? And this is for all of you as well. Okay. Uh, you know, if you know anybody. <laughs> I, uh, I will clean your pool. Uh, I have this pretty fetching uh, leopard skin thong that I. Uh, that's a, I mean, I'm not talking about wax on the nipples or anything like that. Uh, I will clean a pool. Um, will I work in Atlanta? Sure. Sure. Go Falcons. You know, I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty online. <laughs> you know, my wife comes home and she's like, there you are. Still on the couch. <laughs> Hi, babe. Remember I was on that show, Warehouse 13? <laughs> yes, I know. Go find another job. So, uh, for me, uh, you know, it's uh, just auditioning, waiting for my next uh, gig, you know? Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. I don't, I don't even want to talk though. <laughs> um, <laughs> I do a show called Being Mary Jane. That's, uh, hey, we're in a season. Do you know anybody Pony over there? Do you know anybody? <laughs> do you know <laughs> in our third season right now, which airs October something. Don't tell them I said something, okay? But, um, yeah, comes back on, and um, it's BET's first one-hour drama, so our third season starts in October, so be on the lookout for that. And we also need a pool, guys, so... Uh, we have, a, I have a film coming out uh, sometime next year called Monday Nights at 7, which I'm really, really looking forward to. It's a very inexpensive, but very beautiful uh, independent film. And also, uh, just last night, they called me up and asked me if I wanted to be in the pilot of uh, Urban Cowboy. Oh, wow. So we'll see, we'll see what happens with that. I don't, I don't even know what it is. <laughs> I the movie. <laughs> Don't know much about it, we'll see. Are there any pools on that show? Because, <laughs> you know, cowboys swim. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> and then I also have a, a, a wonderful little, if you have children, have a, uh, Americano the Movie, which is a animation film for, for kids, really for kids, not, uh, you know, like Frozen. It's for kids, right? And all the jokes are... Phew. <laughs> you know, Pixar. But uh, you know, this one's really for kids, and it's wonderful. It's called Americano the Movie. It should be on sometime in February, March. It's an animation film. We have that one coming up.
Thank you. All right. Hi. Hi. This is for Eddie. What? Okay. Yes. <laughs> um, okay. How does your Agents of Shield character compare to your House 13 character? Uh, how do they compare? Um, Wow, uh, you know, very, very different, very different. Um, if you guys. What? Oh, thanks, man. I, I was thinking, I was like, oh, I'm going to go do this shield panel, and no one's going to be like, who's this guy? The blue guy. Oh, yeah, I remember him. Uh, so thank you. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, uh, you know, the, the comparison, um, like I said, I mean, I got to do a little. Uh, I mean, I'm a laugh whore in general, so uh, at any chance I, I can get to, to, to be funny, um, I'll always take it. Um, uh, you know, my hair was different, uh, which was very exciting. They, they, they're, they're, and, um, you know, otherwise, I think, you know, Vintech was basically, since he's Cree, he, he doesn't really understand having a sense of humor, although. There was some stuff in the scene that that uh, that was kind of funny, but they decided to to edit that out because they wanted to keep him serious. They wanted his uh, his demeanor to be pretty serious. So uh, I mean, you know, it was completely two different things, which which is fun for an actor just to be able to to do something different, you know. So right on. Thank so, you. Yeah. Thank you. Time for about two more questions, so I'm gonna go over here and then go back. Make them good. Make them good. No Say something no. nice to Ed. <laughs> uh, this is for all three of you. Uh, what would you say has been your favorite moment from the first two seasons of Shield? I mean, for, for me, it was when the guy called me and was like, "Hey, do you want to do the show?" <laughs> I mean, come on, uh, for, for me, uh, when I got to fight with Ms. Gorgeous, what, what's the guy's name? The blonde? Bobby? Bobby. 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 Yeah, Bobby. Okay, yeah. I mean, yeah. I got to have Barbara, a full like and, and, and any time that I got to show my superpowers, like, yeah. you know, I got to throw, I got to pick Lady Sif up and throw yeah. her off of the, the boardwalk, which was, like, awesome. <laughs> I mean, you know, just because it's just so cool to be had to have superpowers, you know. Um, uh, so I would say for me, it was any time I got to, you know, do any of my superpowers, and I, I had this amazing stuntman who did all the. I mean, I anytime you see my face, obviously you know it's me. If you don't see my face, it was my awesome stuntman who, I, her, her boyfriend. Oh, was just oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was awesome. He was awesome. He's good. You would put me on He's the good. Don't look at me. I'm sorry. What was the name again of the show? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I, see that bus? Here I am. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's have McClinton. Any other uh, just moments that you guys uh, reflect on from your jobs on the show that, that stand out? I think for me it would have been uh, <laughs> behind the scenes stuff that you all sometimes don't get to see. Like it's a lot of joking around. I mean, um, it's, I always love when we do like, uh, we go on missions. When we're prepping for missions and everybody's putting a gun together and everything. And you know, we have we usually have someone on set, we always have someone on set that's like, you know, someone who's, who's trained in gun control and just all this. So when you're talking, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, always make sure the gun, you know, is down. You know, when you're talking, you're putting the clip in all this stuff. And so a lot of the times, <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna put anybody on the spot. <laughs> a lot of the times there's someone who's giving, you know, briefing us <laughs> on what we should be doing. And, um, He's like, yeah, so listen, so when you go in, you just killed everybody.
everybody. Oh, 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 okay, you're right. Now let's go again, let's go again, let's go again. Okay, so when you go in, you just, uh, so it's just, you know, it's just, a lot of the stuff, like, it's a lot of joking, but as soon as they say, as soon as they say in action, it's all serious business, serious, 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 serious. And then as soon as they say, like, oh my God, you killed us. <laughs> you pretty much almost killed us, you know. It really is the humor behind the scenes, and, and uh, Clark is extraordinary. Amazing. The, that man is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, human being, but man. Notice I never said his name, okay? <laughs> so close and to be uh, accepted and invited into their into their little family for that short time so they're amazing um, and, I, and I hope I come back write your congressman yeah <laughs> well, I mean you're alive on the show I am yeah. now, there are dead guys though yeah, yeah, yeah. some guys are dead some guys are alive yeah, you're an alive guy yeah